Wow. What is happening? I'm so confused. Hello, everyone. Um, you're probably thinking right now, wait, that intro had one of these machines in it, right? Well, yes, and I did actually have a video recorded that ties to that, but unfortunately what ended up happening is somehow my microphone disconnected completely, so even though I could hear everything in the video, n there was no... Th you couldn't hear me. Which kind of ruined the whole point of the video. And, um, if you're wondering what's going on, I'll update you. I made a Wand of the Adept <coughs> to make one of these, which is a machine that you throw, like, iron ore and stuff, oops, into and it spits out iron. You throw in sand, it gives you glass. And I did an experiment, and if you throw in, like, the dust from a macerator, which would give you twice the amount of iron. Uh, oh yeah, I also made two uh, a coke oven and a and a blast furnace for coke for my blast furnace. But that's not nearly as important as this because if I have a macerator set up, I can double every ore that the macerator is compatible with. So basically, I'm really excited now. Plus. I, uh, I went to the mainland and got some cows and pigs and I basically swam two of them over here and made these feeding station machines which just uh, feed them and get them to breed and um, I'm growing carrots for the pigs right now because I forgot we're in the update where only wheat breeds cows and I think it takes like uh, seeds to breed chickens or something got a little rolling machine for steel plates which are used to make those and that's actually about all that's changed um I can't remember if I've already explained this thing but gist of it is because I'm pretty sure I already have you just put this in it doesn't have to be a bone you just put something in so that's really loud you just put something in that you don't care if you lose and later I'll set it up so you won't lose it period and then this gets all the mobs down to one hit kill with a stone sword unless they have armor on if they have armor on it can sometimes take more but usually it stays to about the same range um, and then I'll just uh, give you a quick because in in the video that got recorded I can't remember whether it was me explaining this or me oops oops get out get out get out get out or me explaining this but I'm pretty sure it was me explaining this so yeah like I said uh, you put stuff in the top it spits it out the front let's see if I got if I have anything that I can cook cuz I'd like to give you a little tutorial of it real quick and uh, oh yeah I thought I should tell you I did find out when they're actually going to come out with the actual Feed the Beast uh, that I wanted. So I'm probably... Now this is going to be up to you guys. Should I continue this series until the, until the Feed the Beast I wanted comes out and then stop this series? Or... Because I, I will tell you right now. Oh yeah, you see? It's just spitting them out the front. And if we go down there in just a second, we will have... Um, nine potatoes and one charcoal charcoal what what hmm. maybe oh maybe I only threw seven in there I, I can't remember it, it does give you a one-to-one -one ratio on like uh, iron and stuff and um, these uh, little uh, they're called uh, they're called bellows arcane bellows or something they basically make it so that this thing uh, takes a long time if you don't have these attached and uh, it'll release flux which causes wisps and I don't want that and the other new addition is this crafting table which came about after I got my moose my uh, moose room my cow farm going um I'm gonna need to kill some of these guys soon though cuz right now all I have is a diamond pick with fortune on it 
And I'd rather enchant books and use an anvil now that I have enough iron to actually make an anvil because before I was using that because uh, I didn't have enough iron to make an anvil. And as you can see, we pop the wheat in there, it automatically feeds them. This one is made for carrots, but uh, I think where these two are adjacent, they kind of update each other. I think it just means it'll feed them faster. And we'll just we'll just kill a few of these because we we've got enough of them now that where we can kill a few. And all we need is a little bit of leather so we can make a book. Now, when you're enchanting, I wouldn't enchant level 30 stuff because um, if you're enchanting books and you get a really bad enchantment, you're out 30 levels. I'd enchant more like level uh, 15 or so. Then we need our sugar cane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that I already explained this in the last video. Um, yeah. And uh, if, if you guys want, just comment and I'll make a tutorial on it. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll actually make it to where you can understand it, not like I have it now, because right now it's kind of hard to understand, just because of the layout. Oops, okay. Now we just have to have three stacks of paper. You kidding me, only two leather. I, I, I thought I got more leather than that. And uh, uh, just so you know, if you take like raw beef or something and throw it in the top, it's just like the potatoes, it's going to cook... I believe it'll cook all eight. I think what happened there was um, so the sometimes the items will like bounce almost out and then fall and get absorbed and then get spat out the front. So I think what happened was two of them combined and somehow okay this time it gave me ten. I only had eight. I I guess it kind of balanced out or something. It's weird how it how it uh, gives you extra stuff and. Don't try refeeding it uh, nuggets. It'll just burn them up, and it'll burn up. It'll burn up anything that you put in twice, except for iron, which can be made into refined iron for build craft stuff. And I'm just gonna process this because I want some XP. I'm not gonna pick up the XP though until after I enchant my book. And um, yeah, so since I found out that that mod pack will be coming out see level 19 I'm not sure how good that is but power 2 is actually pretty good if you can get a, a good bow with unbreaking or something on it so yeah see that that's why I don't put 30 levels into something at once is cuz if you do about half then you can kinda pick and choose what you want anyway so my big dilemma now is the mod packs coming out Etho said about a week, but I'm not sh He said don't trust him because he wasn't actually sure. He just thought that's when it was. So my question is for the next week. Well, here's my question. Is I'm kind of afraid by the time I actually get these posted that it will be out. So should I keep playing this and recording until then? Or because this is... I'm going to probably have posted two videos before this because I just recorded a um a uh what the heck is this beef nugget <laughs> oh my gosh I didn't know it would give you steak the, like beef nuggets uh, it's never done that before by the way but I haven't cooked steak in it either anyway so uh what I'm wondering is wh should I keep recording in this world that's probably why I'm lagging out should I keep recording in this world or should I just uh, scrap it and do like farming sim or something? Because I am going to do farming sim eventually, but I'm trying to decide whether I should do it now. That's a lot of mobs. Or whether I should save it for a little bit later. As you can see, my mob system is really efficient. Because uh, I think what happened is somehow I got a little bit of the... Um, I know during the actual like when it said beta as far as what version you were in. I think that sometime during that, oh shoot, 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 shoot! I think sometime during that, uh, it there used to be really small caves, and I think that I somehow got in that because there's like no caves underground. And as you can see, uh, I would I'm gonna try and see if I can automate that to where it'll automatically like put out an item. 
but for now it's not automatic and I, if I were you I'd, keep, I'd always remember to press the button okay so you can see I put in like uh, these uh, this smooth stone and I got stone wafers and I didn't I think I put in about a, a half a stack but I got a lot of stone wafers and I think it might be even as time goes on that this thing gets more efficient because um I, I did this in a creative world and I didn't have near that result but anyway I'd like to know what you guys think so the question I want answered in the comments is should I continue this world cuz uh, I have two ideas for it one is I can continue like I'm doing yet I will either abandon it or just wait until a good stopping point and uh, call it good after that or should I just uh, the, the other thing I could do is I could go into creative mode every so often and give myself the materials I need to speed this up a lot and then I could actually like uh, do like full tutorials on some stuff like this because I currently don't have enough redstone to do a tutorial on it unless it's in a creative world. Yeah, uh, I'll be in there in one sec to get them. I, I gotta go uh, eat some strawberries. Anyway, so yeah, that's the question I want answered. Since I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing, um, I'm not gonna really try and work on anything right now just because uh, it would be kind of a waste of my time and also I kinda think that this world might be having issues um, one thing that I have noticed through running this mob system is uh, let's see what's it called uh, let's see okay so this guy is um, an angry zombie and if you kill him he will drop a zombie brain which is used in uh, making those little jars that collect XP from like a mob spawner. The only issue is uh, I actually have to spawn that guy in because even though I've had this mob, I've ran this mob system so many times, I have never seen a single one of those guys spawn. That currently is my only zombie brain. And I'll just show you, uh, since since I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, I will I will spawn it in for now. But if, if you guys are like, no, heck no, we, we want to just watch this until you... Because uh, I, I haven't actually decided if once the pack comes out, I'll drop this series. But it would definitely be decreased. So if we put that there, and we uh, start this machine again... Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm trying to kill time yet keep a somewhat long episode. So I believe if I stand back enough so that I won't collect the XP automatically, and I hit them, and I kind of stand back, I believe it will be siphoned into him. And then if I hit him, hmm, it says he won't get all the XP back, but I don't know how much XP actually has to go into him before you can collect. Let me go. Let me go empty my XP a little because I kind of wonder. I don't know how much he'll give me back of what I gave him because I don't think I gave him very much XP at all. Like, can you imagine if I had one of those in this cow farm and I had an automatic killer that somehow let me still kill them? If that makes sense, it'd be a thing where uh, it would run, but then I could use it as an XP farm too. It'd be like a two for one. Sorry, I, d I just got to make another book. Yeesh, I have so much paper and I'm about to try and craft more. Okay, yeah, actually, I'm not really that sorry because um, I'm probably going to switch over to... I th didn't, yeah, I have two of those. The other, th the other good thing about having an enchanting table is this is a source of magic. Because if I throw one of these suckers into my little cauldron, I can now mass-produce magic if I do especially if I do like level one enchantments I'd, I'd have so many of those anyway we're gonna kill him one more time and then I'll just re uh, say what I want you to do it, it, it's not that I like you don't have to if you don't want to but if you're enjoying this series and you don't want to see it cancelled uh, speak up please because Unless I get some type of indication otherwise, I will probably be canceling it. 
not fully, but to a point. Let's see, so now if I shake him, he should give me some stuff. Hmm, maybe he can't get to it actually. I just thought of that. How do you break him? Oh, yeah, duh. Oh, see, I broke him, and I just got up to level 15. I don't think you actually have to break him. I think you just have to go, oops. <laughs> well, obviously I broke him. I'll have to experiment around more with him. And I will probably release at least another episode just saying what the result of that was. But um, don't expect another Feed the Beast episode until, let's just say, until I've had five comments telling me... No, not five. How about until I've had about three comments telling me what you guys want to see, I won't make another episode because... I don't want to disappoint. And uh, if you want to look forward to something, look forward to either Farming Simulator or what's out of the game. I was going to see if there's anything against me playing, uh, recording, playing an open beta game that I downloaded. And if there's not, then I will be playing that. And if there is, then I will just find something else to do, like f Farming Sim or Team Fortress. That, that's actually interesting. I wonder if you can... Act, yeah, you can't make them. This is like a collectible. If they didn't just come literally out of a machine. <laughs> anyway. I believe we've hit our 20 minute. Oh, you right click. I'm an idiot. You right click to shake the jar and he'll give you out your stuff. Okay. I'm just going to manually stop it. I'm not going to waste time. Yeah, so that's that's about it for this episode and maybe even this series depending on what you guys think uh, your input's appreciated just so you know and uh, even if you don't wanna tell me what you think about these new developments uh, please leave a like um, yeah see he gives us his XP it does say that he'll keep some of it but I think if you if you have a massive grinder that's producing like a lot uh, I don't think you'll miss very much, because I don't think he takes that much. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I probably will see you again in this world, if not just to kind of give it a little mementos, because even though we didn't get... Pr we, we got pretty far, actually. Have a little automated farm. And um, for those of you, who, of you who are interested in this mod pack, um, I'm considering, based on whether you guys like this idea or not, I'm considering making like a uh, actual like full blown um uh let not let's play exactly because that's already what I'm doing but like a tutorial for some of these things like a tutorial about Thomcraft and about some of the various machines and stuff because uh this pack is actually pretty good for my computer and I'm not actually sure how the uh, other pack will run but only time will tell Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Um, please, uh, even if you don't want to comment, I even if you if you want to comment, leave a comment. If you want to like, leave a like. If you don't want to do anything, uh, I hope you have a good day. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.